guys welcome back to another video in this video today we're going to make sorrel fruit cake and for this recipe you are going to need two pounds of sorrel we're going to steep the sorrel and you're going to need flour and I'm going to recommend that you use baking flour not all-purpose flour I prefer the baking flour over the all-purpose flour simply because it's a bit lighter and your cake will have a better texture the all-purpose flour you, your cake is going to be a little bit heavy all right but the ultimate decision guys is for you all right but i'd recommend the baking flour you would need egg replacer because remember we're swapping out eggs and substituting for a vegan friendly option which is the egg replacer you are going to need some white rum vanilla all of your spices ginger and my spices include cinnamon nutmeg we are going to need as well guys some breadcrumbs I have ginger powder. I'm going to seep the sorrel in ginger. I have baking powder and your fruits. All right, the fruits that I have is the raisins, prune, mixed peel, um, currants, and cherry. All right, and you want to make sure you soak your fruits. If it's if at the last minute you don't soak your fruits, you can always go ahead. You can boil your fruits. Boil your fruits guys and soften it a bit, especially your mixed peel. Alright, if you want to continue watching this video guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment if you like it and subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to add to your pot and I'm boiling 4 cups of water is your ginger and your cinnamon stick. I want these flavors to extract a bit before adding in my sorrel, alright? If you choose to add in your clove or any other whole spice that you want to add in, you can go ahead and do it. And other spices may include your mace, your um, your clove, cardamom, anything you want to put in there. As a whole spice, you can add it. Um, star anise, yes. This is how everything looking, guys. You can see already that our water changed color, which means this, this spice um, flavor has released. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add in our sorrel. And I always try to use a little bit more just because I want a heavier concentrate of the sorrel juice. All right, so what you're going to do is to just boil this for five more minutes. Leave it to seep for as long as you can right so if you want to leave it overnight or for a few hours that's totally fine all right so we're going to cover it and then after five minutes i'm going to turn it off and just leave it to see this is how we're looking guys after five minutes you see how everything shrink down that's what we want to look for right we're going to leave this to sit for a few hours and cool down we can proceed in baking with hot um liquid all right all right guys now that our sorry here has fully cooled what i'm going to do is to just remove the water from the sorry buds before i cream my sugar and butter what i'm going to do is to puree my fruits you don't have to puree it all smooth right because you know some people like to taste a little nibble a little thing in their mouth so you don't have to puree it all, all together smooth but this is two cups of mixed fruits remember i said earlier guys you can soak your fruits or you can boil it depending on the time you have all right see guys this is perfect for me so i'm going to um remove it from my food processor Guys, what you're going to do is to cream the butter and the sugar until doubling size. Now guys, in the middle of creaming my sugar and butter, I pause just to activate my egg replacer. And the reason for this guys is because I don't want the egg replacer to become too lumpy to sit too long to become lumpy so I'm just going to leave that to sit for a few minutes not long 
and continue to beat my butter and sugar. All right, guys, I'm gonna add it now. But if you want your cake to have a more pronounced look, you can add the food coloring. Now guys, what I'm going to do is to add in also my um, pureed fruits. Lastly, our rum and vanilla. As soon as, as that dry ingredients combine with your wet ingredients, guys, you add more of your dry ingredients. I don't want you to play in your butter because we don't. We're not going for a hard um, fruit cake, right? We want it to be nice, soft, and moist. The more you play in the mixture, the more your gluten is going to be developed. So what we're doing guys is to cut and fold the ingredients into the flour into your ingredients, alright? I guarantee this cake is going to turn out good because I've tried it. It tastes good. The texture is good. And remember now your fruit cake can always turn into a wedding cake, alright? Alright guys, so what you're going to do is to grease three baking tin. We're going to bake our cake guys at 350 degrees for around 1 hour for the 8 inch and for the 5 inch we're going to do it for 30 minutes. Before baking you want to make sure you have a pan in your oven at the bottom of your oven to steam the cake. sure you give your cake room to bake because then the air needs to circulate into the oven evenly okay guys so this is the end product of my sorrel cake and to check for doneness after the required time guys you insert a skewer in the center of your cake if it comes out dry um, your cake is finished now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut our cake to see how it um, keep up right The 
looking very good all right guys look at that i'm very pleased with the texture of my cake right now we're going to go in and we're going to test it out and see how it really and truly tastes look at that you can see the texture very nice and uh, moist it's very soft it's not too dense right I can really taste all of my flavors guys and to be honest the little white rum in there you know, it's not that significant but I like how it mild and mellow right and I'm very pleased with even the texture of my cake this can easily be a nice wedding cake look at that how soft it is I hope you guys give this recipe a try until next time guys bye, bye. happy holidays